This video is brought to you by Hit Point Press and their deck of mini animated spell cards. For a limited time, save 20 bucks on their bundles of lower level spells. Check the link below the video. And by our Cobalt Plushie Kickstarter, featuring our 10 inch tall cuddly kobolds with swappable gear, plus collectible pin sets, mini STL files, stickers, and much more. Check it out today at cobaltplush.com. Hello and welcome to the Gallant Goblin. Today we have another fun little combination for you. The Elder Brain Dragon from WizKids. And many thanks to them for sending it to us to review. The Elder Brain Dragon is the second premium figure releasing alongside the Fizzband's Treasury of Dragons set this June. If you like to spice up all your stories and encounters with a little bit of dragon magic, Fizzband's Treasury of Dragons is for you. This mini is what you get when you add dragons to your Mind Flayer stories. And that sounds pretty good to me. Again, I don't have the full packaging for the Elder Brain Dragon, but you can see it in these pictures from WizKids. We received ours as part of the collector's edition of the Fizzband set. You can see our full review of that at the link in the corner of your screen right there. But let's learn a little bit more about what happens when you get a little dragon in your Elder Brain. The Elder Brain Dragon is one of the many new dragon adjacent monsters introduced in Fizzband's Treasury of Dragons. The main thing that limits the power of the Mind Flayers is that their sphere of influence only radiates so far from their mostly immobile Elder Brain. Well, one way the Illithid can overcome this limitation is by capturing a dragon, bringing it back to their Elder Brain, and then through a series of horrific rituals, have the brain latch itself to the back of the dragon and merge its tentacles into the dragon's brain. Yada yada yada, the Elder Brain Dragon is born. Quick aside, one interesting thing about this mini is that it has a little plastic shield around the brain that snaps on and off. There's nothing in a stat block about a shield or a protective coating, so you could just remove it when the dragon gets to half its hit points perhaps, or maybe when it runs out of legendary resistances, or just make up your own little brain shield rules. Now, with the merged Elder Brain Dragon, the entire Mind Flayer colony is completely mobile. You want a Mind Flayer army sweeping across the lands of men and elves, the Elder Brain Dragon Dragon is the mobile HQ that your heroes need to stop. I honestly love the story potential here, and I'm sad that we probably won't see the Elder Brain Dragon in any official 5e adventures as they tend to shy away from using monsters from these new bestiaries. But that doesn't stop you from making your own stories. Anyway, let's discuss the stat block. So it is a CR22 creature with some of the abilities of the Elder Brain, such as its tentacle attacks and its ability to break the concentration of creatures it has grappled. Its dragon half gives it a walking speed of 40 feet and a fly speed of 80 feet. By the look of the mini, I thought maybe it lacked the ability to fly, but apparently not. The most interesting thing about the creature, though, is its breath weapon. Its tadpole brine breath weapon. The brine breath weapon is a 120-foot line attack that is 15 feet wide. It does psychic damage on a failed con save, half as much on a success, but on a success or a failure, the creature becomes infested with illithid tadpoles, and that's not good. Infected creatures continue to take 3d10 psychic damage each turn, but they can repeat the save at the end of each of their turns. But, again, it takes three consecutive saves, DC 22, to cure themselves. The tadpoles can also be eliminated by hardcore healing magic, but if you get reduced to zero hit points while infected, you'll fall unconscious and rise as a Mind Flayer after a certain number of hours. And this Brine Breath recharges on a five or a six. Pretty hardcore, and I kind of love it. The Elder Brain Dragon comes on a gargantuan size 4 inch base, which is true to its stat block. It's rather smaller than some of the other full dragons, looking rather sickly and emaciated after its merging, perhaps. The Elder Brain Dragon will be available in June alongside the rest of the Fizzband set for between 90 and 100 bucks in most stores. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section down below. I'm pretty excited about this one. Now, when is the last time you showed your appreciation to the Game Master in your life? GMs do so much to make sure that you have an amazing time. It's all about trying to contribute when you can, and I think one way to do that is by getting them things that the whole group can use. And one of my personal favorites is the animated spell cards from Hit Point Press. They're gorgeous, they're sturdy, and they're waterproof, and they're super helpful for the players who are casters and the Game Master who has to run spellcasting baddies. 
Right now, Hit Point Press has a sale going on where you can get certain bundles of decks for $20 off. Get together with your player group and pick up some for your Game Master. They'll appreciate the kind gesture, and the whole party can make use of them in all your future 5e adventures. You can see all the deck of mini animated spell cards at the link below the video. We're in the last week of our Kickstarter now. It is time to jump in and see if there's anything you like from our cute Kobol plushies who would make great gifts for the kiddos or the kiddos at heart in your life, or our mini STL files to our stickers and our pens and our Goblin Gold Inspiration Coin. We have no idea where our Kickstarter will land on May 15th when all is said and done, but if we start to really gain momentum here at the end, we do have a number of surprises up our sleeves that we may be able to unleash. So help us out by spreading the koboldplush.com link to your friends. This is also how we're hoping to fund our channel for the next several months, so all you can do to help us out would be a great benefit benefit to us. We really appreciate it. Again, that link is cobaltplush.com. And thank you for watching today. Subscribe so you don't miss out on our upcoming reviews of the other Fizzbands minis. You can also click the bell icon down below me to get a notification when we drop a new video. We try to drop them around the morning, around 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time, but sometimes we just drop them when they're ready. If you want early access to our reviews, though, you can join our Patreon at patreon.com slash thegallantgoblin, or you can click that little join button somewhere down below me in the video here. And in the meantime, come chat with us on Discord, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. For now, take care, have fun, love each other, and I will see you next time at the Gallant Goblin.